well, this happened, so I've got to deal with it. This is your fault. You know that? Hey, hey, everybody. Mountain Dew Mania here. Welcome back to Vox, and welcome to Friday. If you keep up with me, you know Friday is Rant Day. We are in Season 6 of Redneck Rants, and already, I cannot even believe it, we are on the letter D. I think I got a good one for you today. Uh, it's definitely something that irks me, and I probably irk people because of it, because I can be very strong-willed, and... That's just me. I've always had to be a strong person for reasons. And once you have to do that and start making decisions, you have to do what our rant is about today. Uh, the letter D. D is for dealing, like dealing with whatever, okay? Uh, the definition from the Handy Dandy Dictionary says, to take action with respect to a thing or person. Basically meaning if something arises, a problem, a crisis, or whatever, you deal with it. You handle the situation, okay? Yeah. Uh, that's kind of where the rant comes in today. Um, there are, I understand, at least I try to, that there are different sorts of people. Now, I am very, I pause there because I'm trying to find the right words without offending anybody, which I can do very quickly, by the way. <sighs> It's hard to, I understand that some people, like myself, are very strong-willed. And I had this problem with my daughter when she moved out. Um, part of me, of course, as a mother, doesn't want my, my first baby girl to move out. I want her to stay at home, and I can always take care of her. Another part of me... And that's the selfish part. I, you know, you don't. You want to keep your kids safe forever. You know, your parents, if you're young, you know, you're young, your parents right now are, you know, they're trying to protect you. You don't see it that way. You see them as interfering and, you know, not letting you do what you want to do. Uh, but trust me, it goes a lot deeper than that. And even though my daughter is... Um, 23 now, 24, ever how old she is. Yeah, I really love her, right? Uh, I'm telling you, I'm getting old. Birthdays are coming too quick. But I, I've always tried to let my children be as independent as possible. And seriously, handle some of their own problems as they were growing up. Because I always felt that if you deal with every problem that your kid has, they're not going to know how to deal with anything. And, you know, life goes by quick, folks, and if you don't learn how to do stuff like that, you're going to be ill-equipped to deal with your life and the world. Um, it's hard, though, to know how to deal with problems, like I said, if you've never dealt with with problems and I mean that kind of it's bad because it gets you in the same line of thinking why well, I don't have to deal with this somebody else with Albert Einstein said we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them now that is a life lesson that needs to be learned quickly if you have a kid or you are a kid and you goof up and you make this mistake. Chances are, if you are young enough, your parents are going to deal with it. You're going to get the consequences, 
but your parents are going to deal with the actual problem. Okay? And that's where I guess I differ because I wanted my kids to deal with that to a certain extent as much as they could because they needed to know how. I mean, you know, we got to face it, folks. Uh, moms and dads aren't always going to be there. And, you know, you've got to know, okay, this is, a, this is a problem. Whatever it is, I mean, with work, school, job, you know, whatever, uh, personal life, you've got to know how to deal with it. And I don't mean deal with it by shouting and screaming and, you know, somebody's like, okay, 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 I give in. That's not dealing with it. That's just, you know... Uh, running your mouth loud enough, people get tired of you, and they give in. That's not dealing with anything. Okay? But that's one of the problems. I mean, people do that. People, Other people give in to them, and they think, oh, well, psh, okay, I know what to do next time there's a problem. I know how to deal with it. No, you don't. You didn't deal with anything. So... Then comes the next part of the problem when it happens again, and that's how you dealt with it the first time. Just either whining, crying, or being obnoxious till somebody said, okay, okay, whatever. And you go happily on your way, not dealing with the problem. And you think, oh, well, next time, psh, I got this. And... You think, boy, I'm smart. I know how to deal with stuff. No, you don't. You're an idiot. You know how to deal with anything. You didn't deal with the first problem. But you think, but, but, I, 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 I mean, I thought about it. No, you didn't. You didn't think about anything. You applied what ha actually happened, you know, shouldn't have happened, really, to get out of a problem. You applied it to this problem. And you didn't think through anything. Albert Einstein also said, it's not that I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. Some people will, you know, they get lucky a couple times. A problem sometimes will just solve itself. And you get this, you know, thing, well, <laughs> boy, I mean, I know how to solve problems. I can't believe I solved that so easily. I'll just whisk right through them. Next time a problem comes, yeah, let, yeah, watch me. Uh-huh, watch you fall on your face. You got lucky the first time. Don't think that applies to every problem in the world. It does not. Problems are their own creatures. Problems are their own entity, you know? And oh boy, can they grow. They can turn into something that you do not want them to turn into. Before you even know it, you are in a world of hurt, and you're thinking to yourself, I don't understand. I just don't understand. It worked the last time. I don't understand why it's not working this time. And you just, well, I, I don't know what to do. I've got to sit and think about this. And you think for a couple minutes, well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you know? because you're ill-equipped. Henry Ford said, most people spend more time and energy going around problems than trying to solve them. That's a bad habit to get into, folks. I'm telling you right now. I have this problem that's in front of me, and I think about it for a couple minutes, and I try to work on it. It doesn't seem to get any better. Well, you know, I can just go around and, I mean, it'd leave it there, you know. Mm -mm. Bad idea. Bad solution. Do not think that just because you avoid it, go around it, or pretend it's not there, that it is not going to come back and slap you in the back of the head just as soon as it gets a chance to because you didn't deal with it when you should have. Well, I'll just put that off. I, I, this is more important right now. i got to handle it. Now, sometimes that's true. This might be a little naggy problem, and this one over here is getting ready to go nuclear. Yeah, you have to focus on this one first. 
But that does not mean pretend this one isn't over here just waiting. Oh, it is. It's biding its time. And it's getting ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it was just a little tiny little blister way down there, just kind of irritating. Now it's getting to rupture like a volcano if you don't handle it. Hiding it ain't going to help. Going around it ain't going to help. Pretending it's not there ain't going to help. Yep, this one was bigger. Now you got to go back and deal with the one that you didn't want to deal with. Whatever it was. It's um, something my daddy always told me. I would, I'd come home, you know, and something happened at school, or you know, Daddy, I got this problem, and well, tell me about it, and I'd tell him, and it'd be, it'd be, you know, whatever. My friend did this, or my friend said that, or somebody said, or somebody did, and I think to my, you know, and my daddy would give me good advice, you know, okay. And I would think, well, that 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 wasn't too bad. It's over. I don't never ever have to worry about a problem again. And my daddy would say, um, Susie Q, problems are like weeds in the garden, you know, that I hoe all the time. Um, you hoe one, and then there's two more tomorrow. <laughs> and that's true. It just seems like every time we get out of one mess, we are slap in the middle of another one, usually not of our making, but it requires that we have to handle it somehow. And you think to yourself, I don't want to handle this. I didn't have any part of it. Why do I get stuck with this mess? But you do, and that's life. What can you do? It's... David Souter said, What I worry about is that when problems are not addressed... People will not know who is responsible. In a way, I understand that. In a way, I don't agree with it. Um, I've always found that when there is a problem and it isn't addressed, yeah, at first, you don't know who is responsible. But... I am of the opinion that sooner or later, you're going to know who screwed up. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. But what I really am trying to say here is, folks, if you have a problem in front of you, trust me, it can go from this to that in just a very short amount of time if you do not deal with it and handle it quickly. And up front, and honestly, and you know, and I'm talking if you are a kid or an adult or wherever you are in a stage of life, do not walk around a problem, hide it, hide, you know, pretend it's not there, ignore it, because I guarantee you it is not going to go away. It is going to sit and it is going to boil and simmer, and when you least expect it, you are going to get punched in the face with a problem that is about 20 times bigger than what it originally started out as. And if you would have dealt with it then, it had been over and you had been sailing off into the sunset. Now you have got this monster of a problem and you got to deal with it, folks. That's just all there is to it. So there you go. D is for dealing with... And tell me in the comments below if you want to share with me what is one problem that you had that it started out really, really small and just turned in and you didn't deal with it for whatever reason or it didn't get dealt with and it blew up into a disaster. Let me know in the comments. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Everybody that comes back again and again. You're so awesome. And I will see you next week with another rant. I do have several slots still open for a letter. If you want to contribute a thought here and there, I would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. I'm so out of here. Bye, guys.